Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have a short video for those of you who recently started to play Starfield in the early access and like me have tried to use their joystick or Hotes for the segments of the game when you are actually flying in the space. And probably like me you have found out that it is not possible there is no native support for controllers like this and we are out of luck. However, after an extensive research on the internet, I think I have a found solution for you. And it's not even that difficult. And what you will need is only this tool, X360CE. As the title suggests, this tool simply works as an emulator for Xbox 360 controller, which is widely supported in pretty much any, every game. And you can use it to map any other controller to this Xbox 360. The developers themselves list racing wheels and flight stakes on their website so there should be no problem to get this work. To get it you simply go to the website x360ce.com and you download the latest version. I already have one so I didn't download it fully. When you have downloaded the file you can see that there's only one file actually inside, only the executable. Now I already have it extracted, so I don't do it again. You can put the folder or the file anywhere you want. It's a common misconception, at least what I found, that you have to have this file in the game directory. But that is not true, you can put it anywhere you want. So, when you open it for the first time, this is what you will see. You can check the games tab, that should be empty. You should only see the file or the software itself. Then you can also check the issues tab if there are no issues. If there are, please follow the prompts. Okay, let's get to the business. First you select the controller 1 tab, enable the map devices and on the right you select add. As you can see I already had my BKB flight stick written down as it's connected so I already chosen that. On the bottom of the window, you can already see that there are some controls mapped. If you run it for the first time, you should have some default mapping. But for me, since I'm running this for the second time, I already have a configuration loaded from previous run. And now when I'm moving with my VKB Gladiator, you can see and it shows motion on the controls on the Xbox controller. And just for clarity, I don't have any Xbox controller connected to the computer at the moment. It's just my hotest. Okay, so that's all good. But this will still not work in the game. Because as you can see, it's now setup or this configuration is valid only for this software. So what do you want to do is you want to choose the add game button and select the executable for the game, in this case Starfield. Subsequently select the Starfield 
from the drop down selection and you should see the configuration you just set up. If you don't, because it also happened to me, then simply follow the same steps like you followed for the X360 CE software. We just add controller and map the buttons. You will also notice that on the issues tab now there's a new issue that you need to install virtual driver for emulation. You simply click the install button on the right, wait a few seconds and it's done. And that's it. As you see, it works. Even when I select star field and I move with my flight stick, it still translates to the motion on the Xbox controller. Don't forget to press the save all so it's saved the configuration and it can load to the game. One last note, in my case, it often happens that when I first get to the game and when I interact with the hotest, it for some reason triggers all weapon systems and it behaves like I would be holding all the triggers, even when I'm not. What worked for me is to press them either on the Xbox controller or on the mouse so they really get registered in the game and then it stops. And then you can also use the weapons on the hotest. For the motion, it works flawlessly for me, so I hope it will work for you as well. If you would have any questions, or on the other hand, some suggestions, either for me or for others, please share it in the comments down below, so the rest of the community can also replicate it, and we can all be happy and fly with the fight stick and hotest. And finally, I have recorded some demonstration video for you to see that it really works as intended. I haven't mapped all the actions, so I'm showing simply the most important, which is obviously the motion and triggers for the weapon systems. But yeah, everything works as it should. Don't be surprised that you are not hearing any sound because I use headphones. So, yeah, it's not recorded. And that would be it for today. If you liked it, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing so more people from the community knows about this. And happy flying.